Welcome to St. Michael Advent Podcast Series. My name is Michael Harmuth, and I will be leading our meditation today. Our theme this Advent is hope. May you be blessed for the Christian journey. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall come together. A reading today from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 1 through 12. In those days, John the Baptist came, preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. This is he who was spoken of through the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one calling in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make straight paths for him. John's clothes were made of camel's hair, and he had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. People went out to him from Jerusalem and all Judea and the whole region of the Jordan. Confessing their sins, they were baptized by him in the Jordan River. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to where he was baptizing, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce fruit in keeping with repentance. I do not think you can say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. I tell you that out of these stones, God can raise up children for Abraham. The axe is already at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown in the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance, but after me comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire, his winnowing fork in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor, gathering his wheat into the barn and burning up the shaft with unquenchable fire. Here ends the lesson. I would like to avoid John the Baptist. I would like to sneak past him as he is preaching, standing in the Jordan River. But when I just about make it, he calls my name, Don. How many Christmas cards have you received depicting old John? For example, greeting from our home to yours, out of thoughts of you at this time of year are best expressed in the words of John the Baptist. You brood of vipers, the ax has fallen, The tree with bad fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Merry Christmas, the Harmus. Don't you agree that we prefer the chubby man in the red suit? Yet all three Gospels put John in our midst. We are led to understand that there is no Jesus without John the Baptist. There is no joy without the man standing in the Jordan River and preaching. No rejoicing without repentance. Change your ways. A child asks the goldsmith, how many times do you have to put the gold back into the fire to get rid of the impurities? The goldsmith answered, I put it back into the fire until I can see my own face in the gold. We are asked in Advent to repent, to change ourselves so that when we look into the crib on Christmas Day, we will see a reflection of ourselves in the child's face. Then we will say, wow, that is my Advent hope. Please join me as we continue in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, so draw our hearts to you, so guide our minds, so fill our imaginations, so control our wills, that we may be wholly yours, utterly dedicated unto you, and then use us, we pray, as you will and as always to your glory and the welfare of your people, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.